right. Time for a Briar game. This will be a beginner's guide to Briar. I will explain everything in as much detail as possible. How to play her, how to think about playing uh, things, how to go about things, you know, all of that stuff. So you'll get a clear picture of how to do this. This is going to be a lower low game as well. Reflect the same type of opponents and allies you would get to. And uh, otherwise, I mean, just learning Briar mechanics is going to be a general thing, right? In about 50 seconds, we're going to back over here and see if uh, Evelyn is going to try to cheese me in some type of capacity. You don't need a potion on Briar. You have plenty of sustain from your W. And your Blood Frenzy, which has a bar now as well, which makes it actually even more easy, I suppose, to, uh, well, play the champ. So that's good. So yeah, I'll, I'll explain the combos as we go here. I'm going to start both sides, just clear towards the top. Uh, Renekton's definitely going to get pushed under his turret. There's no way he's not. So there's a good likelihood that I should be able to gank the cannon for free. Whereas the bolt lane gank isn't as likely. So there is that. All you have to do here is just basically do nothing. Except for click W at the end. So you do, you do actually uh, heal yourself a bit. What is this weird ass leash? Okay. Very interesting. Nice try there Mor uh, Morgana. I had a sneaking suspicion. Use your W to dash over this wall here to speed it up slightly. And then right before it ends you want to bite. And we just use the E here as well. Hit it on the big one. Here you just auto attack once. And then auto attack once after two hits from your pet. And your pet will finish all the small ones. Just as a thing there. Now when it comes to your skills. Your blood frenzy is a dash here. As you can see. Dash auto attacks. Does whatever. Um, and then it heals. Your E will be a charge up like that. Which is an AOE knockback. Um, but also has damage reduction in it. So if you're going to go into an enemy team, then that is what's going to give you uh, like a lot of survivability. Um, so that is kind of what you want to look at there. Your Q is an auto attack reset as well. So ideally try to use it after you have just used your um, your like auto attack uh, from whatever that might be. Regular auto attack, W auto attack, doesn't matter. Always want to try to Q right after that. And uh, yeah, here, as you can see, auto attack, you auto attack as a reset. So that's why you wanted to use it as. And then your W is just like you activate Berserk and you simply just want to activate it again right before it ends every single time. And that's that's quite literally it. There are some uses for it, but those are like the biggest things. Now, your E also cancels your W. So that is definitely something to keep in mind when it comes to, well, any type of fight situation, because you don't want to get taunt, like self taunted into an enemy and die for no reason that is a big mistake that you would want to avoid um, i'm also not going to use e here because i'd rather have the e ready going into a fight situation i'm a little bit slow on my clear here i was just uh, explaining it you know i should be able to berserk here you auto attack reset wonder if the eve is going to show up at all renekton is not in lane currently he's just standing there so i guess we can go for fizz Hug this wall to avoid this uh, vision in this bush here. This should be good. We're going to activate Ghost. I hard trolled that. Literally hard, hard trolled that. But that's not going to give me the kill now. Big mistake. Uh, I did my I like E way too early in that situation. Uh, this guy is just trolling. Thank you, Fizz. Are you... How the hell did that not... Okay, that's an interesting interaction. He should still die, though. It... Right? Okay, I need to just go to bed or something. What is this? How did that... Uh, okay, I... the mistake I made there is very simple. I just didn't click toggle target champion only. Didn't click fist, click the minion and destroyed myself. Because this will get you to a specific target. And if you... Uh... Simply just don't click the right target with your Q. That is really bad for you. So that is my biggest mistake there. And didn't give me the kill on Fizz because of it. Okay. Nope. Never mind. I'm just going to go for this. Nothing else to be done here. My Vigar is absolutely zero mana. It's my bad. Fizz really should have died on that one. I just hard rolled it. Like by misclicking my Q, he didn't die. And then I also like didn't do an E correctly earlier. So I'm just kind of trolling at the moment. To wake up or something. Let's clean this out. 
get the E for the uh, finish there, and then we just take a reset. We have a nice amount of gold still, even though we did not get any kills. But that's okay. I just completely trolled on the on the mid gank. We get a spy equip and normal boots, which is quite nice. And we just go for the topside camps here. So yeah, ideally you want to try to go in with your W dash and then just queue the right target. And then at the end of your W duration, or if you want to cancel it early, that's when you E. And I completely trolled myself in that scenario on mid. Well, you know, it is what it is. All right, Cannon is looking to reset here. If he can cancel that back, I can gank. Okay, I can gank then. Let's see if I can go top lane here. I, there is this level 6 issue, but Re Renekton should hit it soon. But I'm assuming that should be fine. Whoa, whoa, okay, you just can snare him in place or something. I don't know. I'm dead here. I, I don't even... Yeah, I'm just dead. There's nothing I can do. I used my E in the wrong direction, uh, which was a mistake, but that Renekton just went for it on level 5 with no HP. I, I can't deal with that. I needed to him to, like, Q the wave to heal himself and to hit level 6 off of, like, a couple of minions there as well, and then we could have gone. But because he did what he did, he is like, I can't help that because I'm not going to dive into a cannon ultimate and then Evelyn just shows up and it's just over for me, right? Oh, no. Yeah, he's going to be dead to an Eve. I think Eve may have been six now. So yeah, the Renekton just kind of trolled it. Nothing else to really say about that, honestly. It's okay. He's dead. My Vigar greeted as well. It's a bit of a uh, sus situation. Oh, Eve. Uh, Eve gets another kill, lovely. Oh, Fizz gets it. Okay, that's, I guess, slightly better. I am in a bit of trouble here, I'm not gonna lie. That is uh, definitely bad for me. Obviously, the mid lane situation is my own fault, but the top lane situation there is just like, yeah, okay. You know? She's probably gonna be there. I'm just gonna ult her. See what happens. Nope, I missed. I think I missed purely for the... Uh... Damn. I'll cancel it then. Hoping to get over that. My ult hits either Eve or Mork there. I guess they're both they're like they're just dead, but don't be too afraid to use your ultimate either. It's a bit of a uh, shitty early game, I will say. Definitely. Could have been much better. I'm just gonna reset here. I'm just gonna go out of base towards this because I can't fight this at all. Oh no, I'm gonna have to help this fight situation here. Are we serious? Are we serious? Yo, Vigar, can you not be blind, please, man? You just... <laughs> Yo, thank you, Fizz. I appreciate those, man. I really do. Holy moly, thank you. I'm not gonna do this. Screw that, actually. We're gonna just go top. Vigar was not paying attention, but the Fizz just tried to style on me and died for it. That's kind of funny. We take those. Right, so top scuttle should be up, but I think Eve might also be on like her raptors here. Yeah, there she is. She ults for that. That's acceptable. Not a problem. She might just try to turn around and walk back in or maybe from this side. I believe her red's up. Yeah, it is. She doesn't have ult now, though. So if she does show here, she just dies. Okay, this looks like she recalled, so I'm just going to go for it. Maybe a little bit risky, because if she didn't recall and I use my Berserk now, I'm kind of doomed. Okay, yep, I'm potentially doomed. I'm going to go, I'm gonna have to go help this guy out. Please don't forget to ult. Oh, great. Okay, that's one of them. I was kind of hoping to see if Fizz would actually go for it. Uh, right there, what I do is before I get engaged on, um, I'm just going to... Oh, if he just jumps on me, he's dead. He's not going to do that. I'm going to freeze the wave here. Uh, so what I do there is right before the E even goes in on me, I make sure to prep my E so I get the damage reduction going. And then uh, after that, I can try to turn it around with my ultimate. Wh whoever it hits is the one that will die. Because the Fizz was already very low HP. If the Viger would have just pressed his ult before he died, Fizz would have died. But, you know, nothing I could do about that. And then, yeah, right there we just 
Make sure we taunt them. Uh, we taunt ourselves towards the right target with the ult. After that, with the Berserk, we use our W a little early to get the heal off. And then we should be in a pretty good state. I think this should be a pretty free Rift Herald. I don't think Eve's going to contest me for it. But now, after my Renekton died, I'm starting to doubt myself a bit. Because this is looking a little suspect now. I do want to try to finish it, though. Yeah, I'm really holding my E there in those situations to get rid of... Um, get rid of my self taunt and then also at the same time get a damage reduction at the right time because uh, getting a damage reduction is very very important in certain situations do not get like absolutely murked by the enemy team so that is what i'm looking there just gonna taunt ourselves to this again missing hp damage okay I could go for this. I think Eve is going to go top here as well. We max Q second. Oh, I... Ah. Right, you just went for that, thank you. Not going to... Like, in the end there, we, we berserk or cancel our berserk with E. We just go on the lowest HP target there. We activate Ghost as well. Ghost helps you close that distance, which is really nice. I'm not going to activate my Berserk here. He was going to go for me, which would be fine. Doesn't. I need to shove in this wave, though. That should be okay. Can heal a bit there. And shove this under turret. I'm, I have a Rift Herald for a while. I have a lot of money here. I can use this on the mid turret. The Baron recall off. Nice. He wanted to get a full charm. Without the full charm, she's not going to beat me there. Got mercs in this game. Good. And now, in this situation here, I'm just going to run as fast as possible towards mid turret because I need to place this Herald in time before the turret plates and the Fizz just died. Now, it might be the case here that Fizz does have flesh, but if I can just burst down the lo last little bit of this turret, which is basically what the Rift Herald should kill here, should be fine. There's also an angle where I might be able to ult bot lane in this scenario. We'll see if it hits. I'm just going to throw it. If it hits, I'll go for the kill there. If it doesn't hit, then it is what it is. If it doesn't hit, okay. That's not the best. But that's one of those things where, like, if you can hit that type of skill shot, that is really good. But it's also the, the extremely difficult to land, obviously, cross map. So that's definitely something. In this situation here, I'm just going to hit the turret down. Get the money out of it. That's big money right there. He's going to try to fight me, but that's a mistake. Get the damage reduction so that doesn't hurt. And I'm not going to walk up anymore. But yeah, I, I get a tremendous amount of gold out of the mid lane situation there just because Fizz just died earlier. I can really just claim that money real quick. All right, now we just make sure we keep our clear going for a bit. Make sure here as well to use your W to slightly dash over the wall every single time. I tried to ping him, but if he dies to that, that's his own fault. Because he had plenty of time to run. Let's see if Eve walks down here. I think there's a pretty likely scenario where Eve does that. Wait, my taunt just... Okay, I'm gonna have to walk away now, sadly. I don't know what happened to my self taunt. I just disappeared because I lost target, I suppose. Yeah, okay, must be the case. Fizz just trolled himself. Let's go. I say he trolled himself because he used his uh, E... And I could just close the distance on him. Like the, he has no more escape summoners, is what I'm like, or escape abilities after he uses his skills like that. So there is no worries for me. I could do a dragon here, maybe, but I don't have smite. Um, oh, I'm especially not now. Okay, we're just gonna cancel this then and walk away because this is too risky. Without smite, with my bot lane this low and there is a control ward on it, I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna walk away. If it wasn't control warded there, I would have probably just gone for it, but the ward there is just not going to happen, right? Finish that off, and I guess we'll just take the reset. See if I can hit this. It's going to be an unlikely hit, I think. Oh, I missed it. Okay. Hitting that thing across the map is very annoying, but... All right, before we continue with the rest of this video, I quickly wanted to mention that about 60% of the people who watch my videos aren't actually subscribed. 
So if you do enjoy my content, it would be greatly appreciated if you consider subscribing, checking if you're subscribed, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this one. Let's see if this is... Uh... I don't think she has her... Yeah, no, we're good. Bleed killed him. I got this guy pretty easily. We activate Ghost here. We're not going to use our uh, dash thingy. You are serious. Okay, that works for me. Finish this off, and then because we just killed the enemy jungler, we could just look for her topside camps. I'm not going to run across the map here, if, in case you're wondering that. I'm not going to run across the map here to go do dragon, because uh, that just takes too long. I'd just rather take Eve's topside camps here and get that sorted and go for the red. Maybe as well, which should be up. Elf taunt here, and then bite at the end, and we're going to cut it into the bush at the end here as well. Finish this off. That's okay. It taunted me towards that thing, but that's fine. It doesn't cost me anything. Make sure to keep using your W at the end, like low HP only. Don't try to use it too early. Also, try to not double press it. Double pressing that thing is going to be bad for you. Uh, so you really need to get used to just single clicking it. And that being it. So we get Cleaver here. We're going for Sterax next. Okay, so 10 seconds on Rift Herald. Dragon's not really going to be a massive factor this game. So I'm not even going to worry too much about this one. I'm just going to pick up another 300 gold for myself. Okay, we're just going to clear our topside camps to get our smite upgrade as well. We need at least one. Now you can easily use your Gore Drinker while you're Berserk, by the way, towards whatever target that might be. And again, Green Smite in this situation now, but after patch 13.20, you're going Red Smite. Because, yeah, Green Smite is getting destroyed. They have a Colossal mid lane advantage, bot lane advantage currently, uh, in like priority wise, so the Dragon is not even realistic, so I'm just going to go Rift Herald. If they don't do Dragon, which is... Obviously, they're just doing dragon. Oh, well, she cancelled it. Sure. Elf taunt here. You know, bite at the low HP. And then taunt again. Q for an auto attack reset. That's all you have to do with your Q is just auto attack reset on the right target. And we just smite this out. We get this. And then I'm just gonna... I could just ult here. I'm just gonna ult about here. I think that should be a good angle to ult for, hopefully. That's good enough. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Ooh, nice. Alright, it hit, hit somebody, which is really good. And then W dash towards. There we go. Good, beautiful. Go for cannon here as well. Okay, we're probably not gonna go for cannon here as well, to be honest. Yeah, just throwing a nice ult and trying to guess a, good, uh, guess a good position to hit anyone. It doesn't really matter who you're trying to hit. If you hit anyone, it's fine. That's kind of what you want to look for. I have a suspicion most of this is warded, but I can't check right now at the moment. Also, can't really go for a dragon there because they'd have too much pressure on me. So I'm just going to have to accept that as it is. Yeah, that, that, that ult across, like, that's big, right? That's gonna give you a ton of kills. If you can land those ults, that's really significant stuff. That's, like, a, a very big skill factor as well. It's really good for situations where, like, the enemy... T where, you know, like, the enemy jungler, for example, is just hitting a dragon. Because in a lot of cases, people will be standing still when they do that. I kind of was kind of hoping Fizz would go for that, but... enough for me before she hits me we use our e we go also will not get really cc'd in that one face him here and there you go i could go in on this but i see dragon and i wonder if he wins that i think he does yeah he does I didn't want to ult top lane there because of objective. I mean, the entire enemy team died, so I guess it didn't matter too much. But also, like, it looks like he was kind of going to win that, not going to lie. 
Okay, so in, right here with um, Rift Herald, ideally this Rift Herald, if this mid turret's already dead, you'd want to use this Rift Herald on this turret or this turret if possible, because those turrets are worth 600 gold each in a local turret gold, so that is very, very significant stuff. Definitely something to be aware of. Okay, we're just going to go mid because Morgana is going aggressive. She probably used her thing already. Finish him off low HP. Don't get yourself taunted. Cancel your... Like, don't use your E. Don't let yourself get self-taunted to a target there. And make sure to hold your E and use it to dodge that type of stuff. Gonna tank that hit so the uh, Viger doesn't get destroyed. Kill him with bleed there. It's really good. I don't think he has cannon ultimate, so we just Gore Drinker go in. Yeah, he's dead. A Gore Drinker is by far the best mythic for, for Briar because of the sustainability. Sustainability is everything. Now, in this situation, I'm going to go against my rules, I guess, because we can get a base turret with this Rift Herald. Uh, so I'm going to like place the Rift Herald down here to get the base turret bounce, which is worth a lot. Uh, that's worth more, in my opinion, than one of the side turrets here because breaking their base is extremely valuable, right? So that is definitely big there. All right, here we have the pressure over Evelyn, so we definitely want to make sure we look for her camps as much as possible. Um, again, cue the auto attack reset. W before the camp dies. Second bite. And make sure to use your W for wall hopes as well. There we go, finish that off, and then we take the reset. We have a tremendous amount of gold here, so... Gonna go for Sterax here, and then when I attack against that team, we're gonna need some magic resist. The combination of these three items is extremely good in 99% of games. And then after this, you just go for whatever resistance you need more. It is not worth building Maw on Briar. It is building, it's better building Spirit Visage because it adds more value. So that's why I'm going Sterax as well, because you cannot build Sterax and Maw. You have to pick between one of the two. Let's throw my ult about there. I think that might hit Cannon. Oh, it hits Eve even. All right, let's go. Finish him off. We'll just slow him here. Q on him. And then we just W twice there because W does more damage with missing. And he was already low, so we're chilling. We can instantly bite twice. Nice ult there for the engage. Like, the ults are very important. You really need to get used to those the most. We see the Fizz and the Morgana. Don't forget the Gore Drinker while you're within the Fury thing. It adds damage, which is good. damage taunt hit him bite at low hp or when it times out it's one of the two you either do it at low hp or when it times out one of the two see if i can get within range on this guy maybe that's a bit of a problem use my e there for the damage reduction so that i get hurt uh, i was obviously going for it seeing if i could reach uh, but I don't want to overdo it, and in a situation like that, if you think you're going to overdo it, you simply just hold your E for a while, and have the damage reduction, and then you should generally be fine. So in a bit here, we can afford the Spirit Visage, which is what we'll be going for. And then the last item in this build is uh, going to be a Death Dance. And it's literally just that build, by the way. You don't have to vary anything, any game ever. Like, there are games where, yes, you are a full AD comp, or you're facing a full AD comp, and the Spirit Fish just loses some value. Uh, but that's not that common, honestly. Can I chase this some type of way? Oops, that was not the right button. Use my W there before he E's. Bleed does some damage, but not enough. What are they doing? Would they be doing Baron? I could scout this in, in a very aggressive manner, but I'm in a good situation, so I'll do it. Just ult the Baron. Okay, no Baron. My ult's not that long of a cooldown, so I'm not too worried about using it like that at this stage in the game. Obviously, if I use it like that and they are doing Baron, I'm going to be in a 4v1, which uh, with my current stats should be fine, but can be risky. So definitely be careful with that, because when you ult hits, you're going in, so you know. Really gotta be careful with that one. Knock back into the WQ with the auto attack reset. 
and then W right before it ends. You can also combo your, your uh, missing HP damage with your W uh, with Smite. That's the best smiting tool you have. So I'll try to use it for that reason as well. I should have picked up that red buff. I go Death's Dance here. Let's see if I can hit the ult. If I hit it, it's nice. If not, it's whatever. It, I, I do hit it. Okay, let's go. We're on, on cannon. Good day, sir. You did. I love that about Briar, man. Like, that ultimate right there is just so lovely to play with. Because you could just snipe it. It's only, a, like, a very low cooldown as well, because we build a lot of ability haste, too. So, there's that. Finish that off. Got Spirit Visage now for the additional healing. There is a Fizz. I want to side... Oh, I didn't sidestep that, really? That's annoying. Just E there to get damage reduction. I was trying to sideways dash with my uh, with my Blood Frenzy there. Because this has a little bit of a dash, right? I was trying to sideways dash it so I can dodge the Morgana Binding and then taunt towards him. Okay, ow. Four. Don't throw... Okay, one thing you should never really do, by the way, is throw your ult directly here. Uh, that will hit the enemy fountain at any given moment, that, or has a chance to, because if it then does, you're going to get self-taunted onto their fountain, and there's nothing you can do about it. So you really have to be careful with that specific scenario. Uh, try not to throw it directly through mid lane, and assuming it could hit this, because that is not good. Always trying to sideways throw it across the map is better, to not get yourself killed like that. It would be fine if the enemy, like, if you know exactly where the enemy is, basically, but if not, then... Whew. All right, great, lovely. Get the E off here. I think this could be okay. Yeah, didn't hit him, sadly. Don't know where Eve is. Go for the Fizz here. Okay, there's the Eve. Finish him off. Don't get self-taunted on the turret. Hold your E. Good. I don't know if I can push this. Can I? Oh, that root's gonna kill me. Is it? Nope, oh, not. I'm way too tanky, apparently. Nice. Okay, all we. Okay, sure. Get my health back up. And then we can taunt towards the minion and bite the minion quickly. That's a mistake. I don't have my E for this. That's a, That could have been my death there, basically. Sideways W to dodge that one, because I have my E available, so I can do it. I'm going to have to leave here. I'm just going to go do Baron or something. If that That's one of those things where it's a big mistake, right? You saw me lock myself into the Berserk, and it targeted the cannon, so I was actually running at him there, and I couldn't cancel it because my E was not off cooldown. But that's something you have to be very, very careful with. You have to be very careful with that type of stuff. I'm gonna hit the section this time. A Briar is easily, easily able to solo Baron. It just takes a while because you never really lose any HP as long as you simply just keep your W active is all you have to do and then bite at the end. Uh, so you W every time. I'm not doing anything but just clicking W here and that's all you have to do to get this Baron with Briar as long as you just use your other W at the end. You can use your Q for some auto attack resets but that doesn't really work on Baron too well because it puts you in the target and then Baron knocks you back so it's not really an effective reset. Uh, so, yeah, it's not really too effective. All you really have to do is just W the entire time and nothing else. Just W, let go for the rest, and then right before your W ends is when you click, uh, click the second part of it, and then that way you can get it. So we have Death's Dance now, and then as a final thing, it's just a uh, potion here. You can also sell your boots at this stage as well very easily uh, for another item. Uh, ideally, something that would give movement speed at the same time, so you can pick one of these items. Uh, but it doesn't have to be the case, you know, uh, you can just, uh, because you are relatively fast, especially if you would go something like a blue smiter or whatever. Let's see if I can hit the cannon. This is going to be very risky because I'm directly, thro I'm, I'm directly throwing it at a potential fountain dive. I'm not trying to hit it here. I'm always trying to like at least get it off center on the fountain, if that makes sense. If I can like land it from a big distance, that's kind of nice. I'm also like just kind of waiting for dragon here because I might as well get the objective instead of doing some random sieges here so if we would lose a siege for some reason then i could in theory 
uh, not lose an object. Like, if I go for the objective first, then I wouldn't lose the objective if I would lose a fight. Which I'm unlikely to lose a fight, but it's possible. I'll attack reset with Q. There we go. Builds back up already. Just have to hit it on someone and I can get a nice engage, but... It's, it's definitely very risky to throw your ultimate into their base. Into their, like, fountain, you would be dead instantly. Turret there is also not the most ideal thing in the world. This Fizz is just dead. I'll take that one. Pop Ghost. We are running with Ghost as well, because you don't need your flesh on this champion. And that should hit. And Caitlyn gets it. Okay. You can either use your ult to follow, because in a lot of situations, if they do get over the wall, they would have used their escape summoners. Uh, or you can just, like, be fast enough, really. Ghost is uh, very, very good for this. It helps you chase in your frenzy more, much more effectively as well. You can use it within. I think this last little bit of a siege of is uh, potentially a little tricky. Especially if my team is going to go uh, bot lane like that. No reason to go bot lane like that, honestly, with the fact... Ooh. Okay. Flash ult down from cannon. I wonder if I could win this. Throw your Q. Thank you. Ah, you have to be low HP like that, really? Oh, thank you. Okay, that is worked for me. E-charge up. Mock him. I should be fine. Damage reduction through the Misfortune Ultimate there. And as you saw, I was able to sustain myself very easily. Because what I'm basically just doing is I'm using my Blood Frenzy and I'm just tapping it quickly to get the second part healing and then Gore Drinker healing and then Omni Vamp healing and then your E, when you hold it, gives you healing. So <laughs> there's a lot of things to do there. But uh, yeah, that is it for Briar. I will see you guys in the endgame stats. All right, so for the endgame stats here, I ended up doing 39k damage, which is the most by a good margin here. Biker actually ended up doing quite a good amount as well, I'm not going to lie. Not bad. Uh, true damage here at 1400. Wow, exactly the same as Renekton, really. Uh, this is mostly just smite damage. Uh, we have objective damage at 53.1k. Uh, healing done at 74,000 healing done. That's a tremendous amount of healing. Like, you have a lot of sustainability. Gore Drinker helps tremendous amounts with uh, Briar's sustainability as well. So I would highly recommend that over going Stridebreaker, by the way. Especially just running Ghost is more than enough. Uh, healing is crazy there. Damage taken 48.8 as well. We have another bit of self-mitigated. Another 72.8. This is mostly your E. If you time it well, this will give you tremendous amounts of sustainability, durability, and fights. As you saw with the turret dive situation on the Nexus at the end of that one, right? I was able to survive very easily with like Sterax, Shield, Increased Healing from Spirit Visage, Death Dance, E Healing, W Healing, Gore Drinker Healing. You name it. She has it. Uh, Gord, uh, sorry, gold earned here at 19.3k. Obviously, I had a tremendous amount of kills and good CS. For the ruins, Conqueror healed me for a thousand, but the adaptive damage is also a very valuable thing that you don't see. Uh, Triumph for 3000 health, uh, Legend Tenacity CC reduction, Last Stand for the bonus damage in closer fights. This is definitely the one you want on Briar. Um, you can get some potential more damage with Coup de Gras in certain games, but this is more important because this ups your damage when you're low HP. Uh, which is obviously the most risky factor and it's better to have extra damage there than have extra damage when you're full hp and it doesn't matter uh, conditioning for resistances and then revitalize for 5,000 bonus healing and a thousand bonus shielding this is just really nice to have on briar in combination with like spirit visage and all of this type of stuff your w everything it adds in a lot of sustainability like 5,000 healing for a rune is very very valuable so uh, with that being said, that was it for the beginner's guide for Briar. If you guys have any questions, leave those below. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure to the like button as well as subscribe. And I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. Bye.